today, friends, we are finishing up our lessons on the prophet Isaiah. And as we come to the end of his prophecies, we actually are reminded and taken back in the biblical story to the Garden of Eden, to the beginning of the creation account. And in that place, we see things as beautiful and complete and whole and just this lush scene of greenery and abundance. Everything is brand new and it's wonderful. Now, of course, we know that's not how the story ends, at least not at that point. Things get worse, the people turn away from God, and the whole story of the people of Israel is just people turning away and getting further and further from that Eden uh, goodness. But Isaiah offers some hope here, even as the people uh, of Israel are being sent into exile for defying God and for turning their backs on him and wanting their own way. There is some hope that Isaiah offers. So in chapter 65 of Isaiah, we read, For behold, I create new heavens and a new earth, and the former things shall not be remembered or come into mind. Now this verse is, is, it brings great hope. It reminds us very much of not just the beginning of the Bible, but of the end of the Bible. In Revelation chapter 21, God says, Behold, I am making all things new. This is the work of God to recreate to redeem, to give us new life. That's the hope that Isaiah prophesied about. Now the people in exile at the time maybe didn't understand or know exactly what that looked like, but we as Christians know that that looks like placing our trust in Jesus. That looks like knowing that though we may die, we will have new life because Jesus has new life even after his death. This reminds us of what St. Paul writes in 2 Corinthians, that uh, God is making all things new. The old things have passed away and new things have come. This hope that we have as Christians is for newness, new life, just like the Garden of Eden, but in a, a better way, in a, in a more complete way, that it is totally new. And even here, Isaiah says that the former things shall not even be remembered, that our sins, God will forget, forgive and forget our sins and all this evil that we have seen in this life will all be gone, replaced with new life. How wonderful is that hope that Isaiah brings us. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for this hope that you give us, this hope that you give us in your word, this word through Isaiah of new life, of, of things being brand new, being totally reworked, a new heavens and a new earth. We thank you for this hope and help us to focus on that when we see the evil around us and, and struggle with it. Help us to remember that you promised to make all things new and to bring us into this new heaven and new earth to be with you forever. Amen. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. You may subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the icon or watch similar videos by clicking on the link.